Hey guys, this is Justin, and I'm here to introduce you to TE Smart's 8 port and 16 port KVM switches with HDMI. These products are a really good fit for IT professionals, security analysts, crypto miners, and pretty much anybody that needs to monitor a large number of inputs at any one point in time. Before we get into the devices themselves, I'm just going to go over the top four key differentiators. First are these units' ability to very easily change the time interval in the auto scanning function. You can set it from as low as 5 seconds all the way up to 60 minutes. Second is the fact that these units come with a remote control. This may not seem like much, but believe me, when you have this mounted in a rack across the room, that remote control becomes quite convenient. Third is the fact that these units will actually transmit audio over HDMI. So if you have a TV connected or a monitor with speakers, you can listen to your input device in real time. And last but not least is the EDID technology. In short, this allows your input device to continue to talk to your output device even when you don't have that selection on. This is gonna maintain the native resolution and also keep those desktop icons right where you left them. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick unboxing and then we're gonna come back to display some of these features. Okay, so we're back here with the contents of the packages. The only real difference between the 16 port and 18 port packages are going to be the number of KVM cables. The 16 port is going to come with 8 KVM cables and the 8 port is going to come with 4 KVM cables. In addition to that, we have the power supply, the infrared receiver, the remote control, the manual, a 3-pin RS-232 connector, and a pair of rack ears. For the devices themselves, the only real difference is the number of ports in the back. So looking at the 16 port here, we can see we have the power in, a keyboard and mouse in, a three pin input connector, a two port USB hub, a video output, and of course our HDMI in and the USB in if you want to use this as a true KVM. Now looking at the front of the device, we have the push buttons that will allow you to change the time interval of the auto scanning, a little LED which will tell you which input device or how much time you have set for the auto scanning. We have one through eight push buttons to manually change the input selection, an auto scan on and off, we have a LAN input port, and of course an on off switch if you have this mounted in your rack. So we're going to go ahead and take a few minutes here, we're going to set up a demonstration table and then we will show off some of the functions that we talked about at the very beginning of the video and we'll be right back. Okay, as you see we're back with our demo environment. We have a Windows laptop, a Mac desktop, a PS4, and an Amazon 4K Fire Stick. To change the inputs, very simple, just use the front panel and press the button that corresponds with the input that you would like to go to. Likewise, we can use the remote control. The remote control has numbers on it, so same thing, you press the button that corresponds to the input that you would like to go to. One other good feature the remote control has is you can turn the auto scanning on or off by using the P button. And if you do, what you'll notice is that the status light that is green here will light up. And right now this is set for every, I think, 10 to 15 seconds. If you want to adjust the auto timer, just press the second button here. You can count up, so now we'll set it at 20 seconds for this example. Turn it back off, you hit the P button, you'll notice the green light goes back off. A third way to change the inputs is to use the hotkeys with the keyboard. We do this by pressing scroll lock twice and pressing the number key for the input that you'd like to select. I'm personally not a big fan of the beeping noise that this unit makes, so I turn that off by pressing scroll lock twice and F11. Now you're going to notice when we switch the input again, you're not going to hear that beep anymore. So we're just going to go really quick to our fire stick and I'm just going to display the fact that we can transmit audio over HDMI. So this particular monitor does not have speakers, so we have a line out ran from the monitor to our audio device there. So as you can see, audio transmits through HDMI, no problem at all. Well, this concludes our introduction of TE Smart's 8 port and 16 port KVM switches. If you guys have any further questions or issues or concerns, feel free to reach out to us. We'll respond very quickly. Thanks and have a good day.